Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, a retired professor from QZ. We are solving the third module of QZ University question, April 2019. The question is, a cube, 40mm side, rests on HP on a corner, rests on HP on a corner with the solid diagonal vertical. I repeat, a cube 40 mm side rests on HP on a corner with the solid diagonal vertical. What is a cube? A cube is a square prism whose height is equal to the side. It's a cube. A cube is a square prism whose height is equal to the side of the cube. So there is only one dimension for a cube. Or a cube in a vector dimension of loop. A cube 40 mm means the sides are 40, the sides are 40, and the height also is 40. This is a cube. This is a cube. Sides are 40 mm side, or the base is 40 mm side, top is 40 mm side, and the height also is 40 mm. How many rectangular, how many square faces? 1, 2, and 6 on the sides, uh, 4 on the sides, total 6, 1, 2, then 4 on the sides, 3, 4, 5, 6, total 6 square faces, that's a cube, so a cube here is resting on the ground on a corner with the solid diagonal vertical, okay, that's the question, I keep this symbol position, what is this symbol position, all square faces on the sides or all the lateral square faces making 45 degrees to VP. If you extend this 45 degrees, if you extend this 45 degrees, if you extend this 45 degrees, if you extend this 45 degrees. All lateral, all four lateral faces making 45 degrees to VP. Or you can say all four base edges making 45 degrees to VP. Okay, this is the symbol position. Now, what is the solid diagonal of a cube? A line connecting a corner to the opposite corner of the opposite face is called a solid diagonal. So, this is a solid diagonal. Connect this corner to the opposite corner of the opposite face. This is a solid diagonal. Agreed? There are four corners of the base, four corners of the top. Therefore, there are four solid diagonals. For possible 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. For possible solid diagonals. Okay. Now, I keep this simple position. What is this? This is a solid diagonal. This is a solid diagonal. Agreed? The question says it is resting on HP on a corner. It is resting on HP on a corner with a solid diagonal vertical. Now, if this is a solid diagonal, I can draw an x1 by 1 through this corner. x1, y1 through this corner so that the solid diagonal is perpendicular to this x1, y1 and then you can draw a new plan. I have drawn projectors through 1, 2, 3, 4, all points. Then, A is this much below XY, A as well as E, as well as C and G. All four points are this much below XY. Take the distance, mark it off on the projector through A, A dash. I get A1, E1, A2, C1, 
and G1. Same point. Projected through G dash will pass through A dash because that is a solid diagonal which is kept perpendicular to HP and X1 by 1 is perpendicular to that. Okay. Now, D, D and H are this much below. When the projected through D, D1, H1, B and D, F and B and D, B and D, B and H. Okay. Now, B and F are this much below. B and F on the projected through B dash. B1, F1. You have got all the eight points. There are eight points on the cube. You have got all the eight points. Now you have to connect them. You are looking in this direction. The top face EFG should be visible. Make it from GC will be visible. A1, G1 coincide. AG is a solid diagonal which is kept perpendicular to HP or vertical. So its plan will be a point. A1, G1 is a point. This is the auxiliary plan. We have used auxiliary projection method. If you draw the same question by redrawing method, what you have to do is take this AG and draw a vertical line. A1 dash Take the distance AG to reduce the error I am measuring the distance. What is this A1 dash? G1 dash. Agreed? Take this distance and this is a center, draw an arc here. This is a center, draw an arc here. Which distance? This distance. Take this distance. Take this distance and A ascender, cut this and this ascender, cut this. Connect them. Since I am not following correct dimensions, there can be small errors. There can be small errors. So this is A1 dash, G1 dash. This is E1 dash. F1 dash, H1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash. You have reproduced the you have reproduced the elevation. You have reproduced the elevation with the AG vertical. I can slightly reduce this distance. The elevation is reproduced. Draw vertical projectors. Draw vertical projectors now. Draw horizontal projectors. E1 dash, E1, A1, F1, G1, H1, B1, C1, sorry, C1, B1, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, S. You are looking in this direction, the top will be visible.
one f one g one h one a one b one c one d one the vertical solid diagonal a g c is a point a one g one this is g one a one this is straight drawing method this is auxiliary position method I hope you understand this is a very simple question only one tilt only one tilt therefore this is a very simple question uh, if you are happy with the presentation please subscribe my channel and share this among your friends and uh, like it okay thank you